Hello everybody, my name is Shad Bra, and today I want to make another video about venting about stuff that I do not like. By the way, you guys, do you guys hear that helicopter outside? Okay, I think that's good. So, I worked at a fast food restaurant called Zaxby's. And for those of you who do not know what Zaxby's is, it's a fried chicken place. Kind of like KFC, kind of like Chick-fil-A, but kind of not. So, it's pretty good overall, but working there just sucks, man. So the first day, I apply, right? And they have me take this test, trying to memorize the foods. And so I try to memorize the foods, and I can't because there are like way too many options. It was just crazy, and so I take the test, and I fail, and they want me to do it again, so I study harder, and then I do it again, and they're like, you know, you didn't do very well, but it's good enough. So I become a chef, a fry cook, if you will, at Zaxby's, and here's the thing, it kind of sucked, like I said. So. They train me for the first week, right? So I kind of learn how to grill, I learn how to fry chicken, I learn how to make salad, and I learn how to clean certain things. And after my training, they were like, you know what? Just go wash the dishes. And so I go, I try to wash the dishes for like eight hours a day, you know, until 12 at night, right? And the worst part about the dishes wasn't really the long hours. It was the fact that I was always leaning down and like cleaning the dishes, right? I was putting it in sanitizer or soap or whatever, and so constantly I'm just leaning down and my back starts to hurt, like a lot. And so that really slows me down. And I was going so slow with the dishes that they were like, well, we need you as a cashier, not as a cook, because maybe this whole cooking thing isn't working out for you. And I'm like, I haven't even cooked anything. You guys just train me and that's it. I signed up to be a cook, not a fetching dishwasher, cleaner, whatever. And so I go up to the cash register and the first thing I notice is that there are like tons of options of food. And so I don't know like which one to press or whatever. Somebody comes in, they're like, uh, yes, I would like a box of four chicken wings without salt and with half of the atomic sauce and half of the hot honey mustard sauce and I'm like uh this is Zaxby's this ain't Burger King you can't always have it your way and of course you know they didn't like that I didn't actually say that but I kind of had that attitude I was just like I don't want to do that particular thing. It's too complex and I'm just being kind of trained right now, but not really because nobody's here to help me. And so I'm just like trying to press all the buttons and then they have me work drive through, which is like a thousand times worse, okay? Because you have to like multitask like crazy. So you have to press this little like intercom thing somebody comes up with their like super huge massive gas guzzling truck and I'm just like I'm gonna become deaf working at Zaxby's and then they scream into the mic hi y'all got something I'm just like hello welcome to Zaxby's what can I get for you uh could I get like half cherry Sprite, half vanilla Coke? And so the worst thing was about working the drive through was the fact that we had one of those huge soda machines that, you know, it's like you, you touch it, those touchscreen soda machines. You guys know what I'm talking about, right? That have like a thousand options. And what was even worse was trying to put it into the computer. And so I'm like, feel like I'm trying to hack into, I don't know, MI6 or something. And I'm still not successful. So, you know, you have to put the food 
in the bags while talking to the person and implementing the stuff into the machine. So it's like super hard for me and I get yelled at like a thousand times by like my supervisors and it's just awful. Like working drive through is the worst. So the moral of the story is try to not get a job at a fast food restaurant and if you do then good luck. So sorry I had to rant again. I like kind of venting stuff out to my YouTube channel even though you guys are like 140 people but you know it's still fun. Anyway I will see you guys later.